back to a Rick Rubin vibe, uh, something, I don't know where I heard him say it, but at some point he said, you, anything you put out, you, you have, you have to like it first. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can't make art hoping someone else is going to like this. Like how, sh what are they going to like? And I'm going to make it according to what mm -hmm. I think they might like. And Hey, mm -hmm. now do you like it? I have to make something, create something. Okay. I like it. It's simple, but I like it. It's, it's pretty. I mean, I would, mm -hmm. I would listen to it if I, it wasn't me, you know, mm -hmm. and I just, I was a painter or a writer. I just needed something going on. Once you get past that hurdle of like, I like it. And I think it's good. Then I'm not impervious to like, oh man, no one's streaming it. And like, no one's listening to it. But there is a certain sense of like, well, I was pretty honest and authentic when I made that, you know, and to whoever's listening to this, the art you're putting out there, if you're super authentic and honest about what you're putting out in the world. And then someone comes back and tells me or you, yeah, I don't like, I didn't like song five or chapters, you know, you lost me on chapter six, you know, when the character did this, it's, it's kind of like, I have this feeling of like, well, that's like you just coming up to me and telling me you don't like my nose. <laughs> it's like, well, okay. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. It's like, it's my nose. <laughs> so that's just what it is. Um, don't read it, you know, don't listen to it, <clears throat> but, uh, making sure. So that's helped me kind of just posture myself getting into this. 